What's up everybody? Welcome to this new video tutorial on getting your HTML web application set up using PhoneGap Desktop and the PhoneGap Developer mobile app. So as you can see here, I have the PhoneGap.com website open in the browser. And the first thing we're gonna do is just click start now. And this is gonna take us to the get started page. Now from this page, you can actually install the desktop application for Mac or Windows right here. And I'm not gonna go into the installation process. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. And if you need more help with it, you can just click on their full guide documentation right here. But the second part to this is just installing the mobile app on your device. So if you go ahead and go to the store on your device and just search the PhoneGap developer app, you'll see it's available for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. So once you have that app actually installed on your phone, just go ahead and open the desktop application on your computer. And you'll actually find the desktop application in your applications folder. So if we open our finder, you'll see I already have applications open and PhoneGap is right here. So I'm just gonna open that up. And once it's open and ready to go, all you gotta do here is click to create a new project with the little plus, and we'll just say create new phone gap project. So the path is actually just where we're going to be storing our files. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the phone gap folder that I created in my documents. And we'll just open that. And then the name is just whatever you wanna give the project name for now. It could be temporary because you can always change it later. But we'll just say hello world. And then of course your ID, which is also optional, but you could just do this and then either your name or your company name, I'll just put in Thomas Devin and then do hello world as our project name. And then we're just going to click create project. So as you can see, hello world has now been added to our list of projects. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this a little bit. So here you see we either can run our application, stop our application, or actually open up the folder where our files are being stored. So if I just click on this, it'll open up a finder window and it'll show us what it looks like inside of our application. So I have this here. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and drag our www file where all our, if you look in here, this is where all our HTML, CSS, JavaScript stuff is stored for the default project. I'm just going to take that whole folder and drag it into a text editor so we can see what it looks like here. So here we have the actual HTML document open and this is what we're provided with by default. So we see we have a lot of meta tags in here that are associated directly with mobile device stuff. But I'm just going to go back over to our PhoneGap application and now you should have already installed the PhoneGap developer app on your device and I actually have my iPad here that I can actually use to demo this. So what I'm going to do is actually open up a video recording right now so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to go ahead first and search for this application. And we're going to open it. And this is what you're going to see when it's actually loading. So what we want to do now is we're given a server address, as you can see right here. And I'll make this a little bit as big as I can here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And so real quick, I'm going to pull this application over here and move this here, shrink this a little bit if I can, I can't, but anyways, before this, I want to show this server right here is what we're going to be running on. So as you can see, yours is, yours probably, your number is different, but just go ahead and copy this number that's written down here and just copy it into this on your actual device. So you see, I already have it written in here. Like I, I would type in my 3000 and then you just go ahead and connect now and it'll go through a couple processes and it says success and then this is what we see so now actually on the device we see device is ready and it says phone gap so as you can see that's part of our HTML that we have here and just to show that this actually is really useful in the fact that it live updates for you as soon as you save your code. So what we can do is I'll just go in here and actually change this to a sloppy hello world and save that. And then if we open this back up, see? Live changed to hello world on the application. And this is gonna be incredibly useful for you guys. So when you're 
creating and testing your applications, you can have it live update on your device as you're testing. So you don't have to worry about, you know, compiling all your code and everything. You're just going to see all your changes update in real time. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video was useful. I know the documentation on the PhoneGap website is actually very thorough and very simple, but I wanted to make this video anyways, just to help you guys out. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you guys want to see more videos, I do JavaScript tutorials on my channel. Please subscribe, make sure you like the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.